Hello guys, it's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this beautiful, beautiful blonde wig from West Kiss Hair. Um, you'll see it in a second, but this is all the stuff that I got inside of the packaging. I got like a wig cap, an edge brush, the usual bits, but I got this wig in a 13 by 4, 24 inch and a small cup size. Um... This is apparently 180 density. I'm only just seeing that now. This wig is thick, guys. Like, it is thick and it is voluminous. Um, it's giving 200% density. So I don't know if they put the wig in, like, the wrong packaging or something. But, like, wow. If it's 180, they're doing amazing. But anyway, as you can see, it's a beautiful blonde, honey blonde with brown, warm brown roots. Um, and they curled it for me, um, which I love. Um... But yeah, I didn't have to do anything to this. I didn't bleach the knots or anything. All I did was I just washed the wig because um, I feel like it's always important to do that when you receive your hair. I will say the first thing I noticed about this hair is how soft it is. That is literally the only thing I could focus on and that's why I was brushing and touching it so much because it was just so luscious. But yeah, moving on to the install. This is me... Um, with my wig cap on and as you can see i've styled the wig on the mannequin head as i always do all i did was pluck the wig um wash it and then straighten it because i wanted it straight for today and put it in the middle part as you can see um this is what it looks like it's giving barbie it's giving rapunzel and i love it i'm gonna go ahead and tint my lace as usual with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Spice Drum and I'm grabbing my Kabuki brush and just tinting the lace. I'm clipping the back there, the little back elastic and popping the wig on. This just really secures the wig to my head and this is what it looks like. Why do I sometimes want to leave the lace on because why is this kind of a look? I don't know, I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? Anyways, um, as you can see this is what it looks like on. The colour is beautiful i'm gonna section off my hair at the front and i'm gonna focus on just getting rid of the excess lace um around my ears because it just makes cutting all the lace a lot easier so i just always get this out of the way to begin with and then once i have done this i'm gonna go ahead and cut little tabs as you can see i'm doing here um, on either side of the head and now I'm going to go ahead and grab my rubbing alcohol. You should use 90%, this is 70%, but yeah, you just want to clean your hairline and this is going to make sure the glue lasts as long as possible. And for glue, I am going to use the Better The Melt um, lace glue. And I put on about two to three layers of this. I always do around two to three. It just depends on how long you want it to last. Um, I'm grabbing my big fan that I've got in Ibiza and just making sure I let all the wig glue dry completely clear before pressing it down and grabbing my comb to just make sure it's super super secure. Now I find the comb really helps to secure the wig and it's to be honest pretty much essential in creating a flawless install. Um, it gets rid of any like white marks because sometimes the glue doesn't dry completely clear no matter how hard you try. So yeah make sure you have a little comb at hand. Once I've glued all the sections down, I'm going to grab my West Kiss um, wig band and I'm just going to tightly put that on. Noodle break. <laughs> I'm going to tightly put that on for 10 minutes to let the glue settle and melt in. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the lace. Now, if you're new here, I'm just using my eyebrow razor. Um, I always use this to cut off my lace and I use it to glue down my wigs as well. Um, it's just the perfect tool. And I can't live without it so yeah once all the lace is cut I'm also just quickly gonna grab a tiny little detail brush and I'm just gonna you know go in with a bit more of my foundation shade and powder shade just to make sure everything blends and there's no lines of demarcation now that the wig is completely glued on if you're not a baby hair girl you're pretty much done literally but I love a good baby hair I love a dramatic baby hair so I'm sectioning that off with my rat tail comb and then I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor again and I'm just gonna cut in a diagonal line going down the sides of my face. Now you can do as many or as little baby hairs as you want. Um, this is completely up to you and you just want to play around with how you want them to look. For today I'm grabbing my Lulabelle's hair straighteners. I like this because it's quite small. 
um, and all I do is I just grab small sections and I just curl inwards towards my face. You want to be super careful you don't burn your head because I've done that so many times and trust me, it does not leave a pretty mark. Um, once I've done that, I grab my got to be hairspray and I'm just gonna play around with my baby hairs. Um, this takes a while, especially with a new insole, it's sometimes annoying and like it just... It's hard to figure out where you want to place your baby hairs and for blonde hair also I don't like to go super crazy with them because it makes their hairline look really fake for some reason and I only get that with blonde hair but yeah. Anyway I put my wig band back on my head um, just to make sure the baby hairs are pressed down and settled down and as always it wouldn't be a Zoe install without some face framing layers so I just grabbed two little sections from either side of my face and just cut in a diagonal line I have no technique to this I just be cutting and hoping for the best so um proceed with caution and I just quickly trim the ends a tiny little bit as well I just wanted to neaten them up a bit as you can see I'm just grabbing my hot comb and hot combing all the little sides um I wanted to just go for a sleek middle part and look. I feel like middle parts and blonde hair look so beautiful and it's just so classy. And you can't go wrong really with a good sleek middle part. Once I've done that, I'm taking off my headband and this is pretty much the look. Um, I'm going to show you guys an alternative look if you just wait a few seconds. <laughs> but this is the hair and I'm so obsessed with it guys it's so beautiful and I feel like it's the perfect black girl blonde like it's not too harsh and it complements our skin tone so well even if you're not black this is gonna look so sexy on you I just love it but yeah for the second look I just wanted to play around with the hair and see what I could create but I wanted to do like a half up half down claw clip type of thing um so as you can see I've just sectioned off those two face framing layers and I'm just grabbing like half my hair, like the top layer, and just combing it all back, making sure it's super sleek and super flat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a like small clear elastic and tie all the hair back as tightly as I possibly can. Once that's tied, I'm quickly just evening out the front layers because one was longer than the other, but I'm grabbing my claw clip and I'm just gonna twist this little like ponytail thing that we have going on back here. And that's pretty much it for the hairstyle. I quickly grabbed my hair straighteners as well and just curved the little like pieces inwards towards my face just to make it frame my face and complement it a little bit more. And this is basically the hairstyle, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this little like hairstyle. Let me know if you guys try it. But yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.